Australia. I have the to report about the principle of supply and demand. Here, I have here the example and the explanation about. Well, the first is the law of supply. We are here the directed principle of law of supply. Like the law of demand, the law of supply demonstrates the quantities that will be sold at a certain price. But unlike the law of demand, the supply relationship shows an upward slope. This means that the highest the price, the higher the quantity supplied. Producers supply more at a higher price because selling at a higher quantity at a higher price increases revenue. So that it was showed here. The price is high, quantity is high. Second is the law of demand. The law of demand states that if all other factors remain equal, the higher the price of a good, the less people will demand that good. In other words, the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. The amount of a good that buyers purchase at a higher price is less because as the price of a good goes up. So, that's the opportunity cost of buying that good. As a result, people will naturally avoid buying a product that will force them to forego the consumption of something else they value more. So the chart shows that the curve is a downward slope. So here it, here it is. The price is high, the demand is low. This is the indirect uh, example of uh, correlation of supply and demand. And there's the other one, the equi equilibrium. Equilibrium. It is generally speaking, and equilibrium is defined to be the price quantity pair where the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. It is presented by the intersection of the demand and supply curves. The analysis of various equilibrium is from the mental aspect of microeconomics. It shows that the situation in a market with a price is such that the quantity demanded by consumers is correctly balanced by the quantity that firms wish to supply. So in this situation, we show here that the graph states that when the demand, the, the demand is being uh, demanded and the supply is become higher because of the price become higher too. So there is a balance, that is the meaning of equilibrium, there is a balance. So there is no changes. In the second demand are the same. The price becomes high, but the quantity of demand becomes also high because of the same aspect. So meaning, the law of demand and the law of supply have different perception depending on, on the demand of the consumers and the capacity of the producers and depending also the price and also on the quantity of the product we have demanded. That's all. Thank you and good day.